Hi everyone, it's Matt. Welcome to Collaboration Coach. What I'm gonna show you today is the way I organize my inbox. And it might be controversial because I know not everybody does it the same way. So I'm gonna share with you four tips for tidy inboxes. So they are, first of all, read everything. I read all my emails. Number two is use search and not folders. So I don't have any folders in my inbox. Number three is flag emails for follow-up. And number four, is use archive and not delete. So I don't delete anything. So what do I mean when I say read everything? I read every email that comes through my inbox. When they come in, when I check my emails, I just go through each one. Whether I read the whole thing or not, doesn't really matter. But as long as I've gone through each email, I'm always surprised when I see people with sometimes hundreds or even thousands of unread emails in their inbox. I think that's a bad idea because each of those unread emails in my mind is just something that I haven't done. So I make sure that I read absolutely everything. Now, while I'm reading them, I don't delete them and I don't move them to folders. I just leave them where they are in the inbox. So why would you do this? So first of all, it means it's the quickest way of making sure that you've covered everything, that you've read every email. Even if it's uh, of no interest to you, you've gone through it, you've clicked through it. Sometimes I just do a, a quick skim like a couple of seconds, I know I'm not interested in the contents. And so I go straight on to the next one. Now, as well as reading everything, you need to make sure that you're quite strict with what goes into the inbox in the first place. So make sure that you're not subscribing to things that you're not interested in. Making sure that you get the least amount of email in your inbox is also important for the read everything principle. Next is use search and not folders. In my inbox, I never have any folders or subfolders down here on the left hand side. So I know a lot of people will like to take an email and then drag it off into a folder. I don't do that at all. I don't have any folders. If I want to find something, I use search. In Outlook, the search box at the top here is really useful. So say I wanted to find an email from somebody like one of my colleagues. I just type in their name and it gives me all the results straight away. And I can also choose from different keywords, searches that I've used before and suggestions from search as well. So it's quite easy. Now, for example, if I wanted to find a certain email from Megan that also had some information in it, like report, I could use this and connection to connect Megan and report. And then it brings me back all the results with Megan and report in them. So if I'm looking for a particular email from a person that has a keyword in it, I can quickly find that. Now that isn't something you could do with folders, you wouldn't have a folder called Megan and reports. So it's cut through the folder system. Also, you can change the scope of your search. So here we're searching the whole of the current mailbox, but we could narrow the search to the current folder, which would be inbox or the current mailbox. We've also got this search ribbon here where we can do scoping. We can also include other items like deleted and old results. And then we've got a whole range of, of other criteria we can choose from to sort of refine our search. So searching is really powerful and it's a lot more orderly than having a big folder system. So because we're not deleting any email and because we've read every email, we can be sure that we've identified the emails that are important to us. For example, if I need to follow up on an email, there's an action for me to do something in the email that I, I want to remind myself about. I can flag it. You can right click and choose a follow up. So you can uh, you can set a date or you can just add a reminder, or you can just hit the little flag icon there. Now, once that's flagged, it means it's a task has been created. Now there's a task section in Outlook. So now you see I've got a, a task flagged, but it also adds it to my to-do. So if I switch to to-do, I've also got a to-do item here. So if I'm using to-do, which I do uh, on my phone and on my desktop and so on, I've always got that item there. And if I hit complete on to do, it will also complete that in Outlook. So eventually this will disappear as well and it will be marked as complete. There you go. And so if I go back to the email itself, it's also marked as complete there. So flagging is a good way of making sure that you have actioned any of the emails that you've received. Now I've already mentioned that I don't delete anything. So surely that's gonna to lead to a very big mailbox. Well, what I do instead is archive. So I make sure that everything gets deleted after a certain period. So usually it's six months. You can set what's called an auto archive on Outlook, which will basically delete everything after six months. 
You do that from the inbox itself. You can right click and choose properties. You've got this auto archive tab here. And at the moment you can see the default is do not archive. So it's not doing any archiving at all. But I can set it to archive this folder using these settings. So I can clean out the items older than six months. So after six months, I can either move the items or I can permanently delete them. So I, if I choose permanently delete, now everything in the inbox that's older than six months will be removed. Now for Office 365 users, there's also an archive that the administrators can give you. So if you really don't feel comfortable with deleting things older than six months, or perhaps there's some retention that you need to adhere to, then you can move them into the archive, which is the default archive folder. So if you set your inbox to archive after six months, you can also uh, override that archive on individual emails if you need to. So say there's something that you must keep and you don't want it to be archived uh, after six months, you can right click the item, so the email itself, go to the assign policy and then choose never delete. Now that will override the auto archive settings and never delete and keep that item forever. So it's a good way of making sure that your inbox stays nice and fresh, but you still get to keep the things that you really care about. Okay, so they're my four tips for a nice tidy inbox in Outlook. What do you think? Would you adopt any of these or are you using them already? Or do you think they're crazy and would never work? Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you have the time, please subscribe and give us a like if the videos are helping. And I'll see you next time.